What's going on YouTube? Kevin here with a video review for the Crack Series case for iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. Before I begin this review, I'd like to thank Clay and the whole crew there at Ego and Company for sending this out to me for review. Go ahead and check out their website guys, link will be down below in the video description as always. Despite the fact that the case does give a little bit and does bend a little bit, it is actually made out of an impact resistant resin on both the inside and the outside, so you can be sure that you can rough house your case a little bit and you won't cause too much damage to your phone. We're going to install our iPhone 4S into it now and take a closer look at the design of the case itself. Taking a closer look at the back side of the case, you will notice that it does have a natural leather look to it, and they do say that it has a natural leather feel to it, which I will agree it does feel like leather, but it obviously doesn't give because it's a hard plastic resin. The back of the case is also scratch and fingerprint resistant, which you can tell here there are no scratches or fingerprints, despite the fact that I've used this for quite a while. On the back of the case, you also will notice a nice large cutout for the camera and the built-in flash. As far as I could tell, no problems with flash bounce back, which is always a good thing. Taking a look at the side of the case, you will notice there's a nice large cutout for these three features. The silent ringer switch, the volume up, and the volume down buttons. All these things are very easy to access, which is a very good thing. On the other side of the case, you will actually notice that there's a thin white sliver above the side of the case, and that's actually the surface of my iPhone. So the sides of this case actually do not come up to meet the screen. It's not flush with the screen. It actually goes below it, which I'm not really a huge fan of, but it is what it is, sadly. Looking at the top of the case, you'll notice there's a nice wide cutout for the sleep-wake button, the secondary microphone, and the headphone jack. No problems in terms of using larger headphones because you will notice there's a nice large radius around the headphone jack that's nice and open. On the bottom, similar cutout for your microphone, your 30-pin dock connector, and your speaker, so no problems with obstruction in terms of sound or even charging or syncing using the 30-pin dock connector cable. I also want to say that this case is available in four different colors in case you guys are interested. The color I have is khaki, which is this greenish color. It's also available in titanium, navy, and wine. Overall, I have to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this case, mainly because for $24.95, I feel like I could get a case that's much more protective. However, I feel like the purpose of this case was more towards aimed for style rather than protective purposes. And if you guys are the type of people that don't like to have your bags weighed down by a heavy, bulky case, or if you're a guy like me and put your phone in your pocket all the time, I think you could greatly appreciate the fact that this is a very slim and very stylistic looking case. So again, this has been the video review for the Ego Crack Series case for iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video review.